Yeah. This is how the finished product looks like. When we see it, all beautiful. And we look at the back, the oak part, the finishing. It's going to be very neat. Can we all see? Can we see the divider? This is the divider. This is the divider, the first divider I showed us earlier. This is the second divider. Look at the second part too. They must all align. Look at where the divider fall. Look at where the divider fall. Yeah. Look at the spacing. <coughs> the spacing that I talked about. It must be the spacing so that the object will not overlap. Can we all see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven steps. And this is size four of glass bead. Of crystal bead. So, sorry, this is size four of crystal bead. This is seven steps. It's very easy. We can all go through the process I, as I explained earlier. So now, we want to do elastic bracelets. So, we need elastic. Elastic bits always expand. Can we see? This is very easy and very simple. We just insert our bits. We just insert our bits into the elastic. Into the elastic. We just insert it into the elastic. You measure your hand so as to know the size you make. If your hand is 15, the elastic you measure will be 10. You know, elast elastic expand. So you won't measure the exact length of the elastic. So you insert, you insert your bit, you insert your bit, pull it, after inserting then you knot it, Is expected, you just have to be very careful. You have to start all over again. You have to be very patient when you are working on bead. It's not a Russian thing. You have to be very patient. So that you bring a perfect job. Insert it. This can be used for a baby because it's very small. For her thoughts, you have to measure your hand. If the size of your hand is 15, you use 10 because elastic takes part. And it's, it does not sit like three times so that it will fall off. This is very fast and all the tools required, they are very cheap. You don't need any tools, just the elastic and the bead. Just the elastic and the bead. And you can do as many as you want, you can sell it for your friends, it's very easy. You can finish this within 5 minutes, it's very easy. Then you, then you can make money out of this. After this, you can sell it for 300, 500, 400. You can make as much as you can from this, and the materials are very, very cheap. So, I will try ball of 4 for our hearing. In case you want to add a layering for something like this, you can do ball of four. So if we go back to our fashion line, you can use size 0 0.5. This does not need measurement, just cut the wire that you think you can use for that purpose and it will be enough. So for ball of four, you need 12 bits. So for the first step, I would like us to put this down. For the first step, we need four bits. We need four bits, three bits, two bits, two bits, one bit. If we had that one up, four plus three, seven, seven plus, okay, that's a specific bit. Four plus three, four plus three, seven, seven plus two, nine, nine plus two, level, level, plus one, two. Four, three, two, two, one. We can put that down again. Four, three, two, two, one. I'll tell us the process now. Insert for the first step, that's three. Insert three bits. Insert three bits. Can we see? Interlock with one. Interlock with one. Can we see that? Insert another, I said 4, 3, 2, 2, 1. This is the first step, 4. Second step, 3. 
interlock with three, interlock with two, sorry, insert with two, as you can see, insert with two, interlock with one, that's the third one, that's four three, the second step, interlock with one, can we see that? Then your left wire, left fishing line, pass it to the next bit. That's the second step. Then the third step, I said four, three, two, two, one. Third step, uh, step is two bits. Insert one. Insert one. Interlock with one. That's my third step. Interlock with one. My left fishing line, pass it to the next bit facing it. If very big facing it, pass it to it. And we also, that's my third step. Then, fourth step, two. Insert one. Interlock with one. That's my fourth step. Then I let fish and I pass it to the bead facing it. The bead facing it and the next one facing it. That's my fourth step. So for my last step, I have one left. Four, three, two, two, one. For my last step, for my last bit, interlock the last bit. It's just interlock because that's the last one. And yes, they are from a ball. For it to be firm, you have to pass it around. Let the wire, the fishing line meet at the point. Yes, then you not. And we have said, they are from a ball. I will repeat the process again for those of us that didn't get it in the first instance. Let me repeat it again. Fishing line. I said this is a ball of four pieces. Four, three, two, two, one. Four, three, two, two, one. The first step is four. Insert three bits. Insert three bits. Interlock with one. Interlocking is putting it across. Interlock. That's my first step. And if, if you see it, it's four. Second step is three. You insert, you always insert from your right hand side. Insert two bits. Interlock with one. Interlock with that interlock. Put a wire inside this. Put the second wire to inside this. Inside it. As if you are crossing it. The two which line will enter the bit. That's my second step. Then you hold it. Pass the fishing line on your left hand side through the bead facing it. If you count this, they are both four. That's my second step. Third step is two. So I said always insert through your right hand fishing line. Insert one. See, insert one. Interlock with one. Interlock. That's my third step. Interlock with one. Your left hand fishing line, pass it to the bead facing it directly. That's the third step. Fourth step, it's two, two, four, three, two, two, one. Fourth step, insert one. Interlock with one. Then, your left wire, pass your left wire. In front of the wire facing it, first wire, first bit, first bit facing it, one, second bit facing it, two. Then the last step, four, three, two, two, one, one. The last one, we interlock it. The last one, we interlock. That's all we go. Then we allow this to meet at the same point so that your bit will be fed. Just pass it right. Pass the fishing line round, let the two fishing line meet at the same point for your bit to be fair. So you notice? Yes. This is my bowl. You can use this, you can make as much as possible to do layers. To do layers just like this. If you want to use balls as layers, you start here. 
you have to have a divider so you can start your balls from there you do as much as you can you place your ball place it inside the ball one you place your ball all around and this is for three steps four steps you place your ball you make another ball place it, you place it inside the ball one to do your ball to do your ball all around so if we want to make this as a hair ring this is it then you start some more okay you can cut this off to make it easier you cut one side of the wire of fish line out you can put small bits to beautify it or you can use that same one as an extension or you can leave it clean. So then you get a hook, earring hook. You can also put accessories. It depends on your choice. You have different accessories. These are accessories. Can put accessory to beautify it. You can make an earring for a bride. You can put accessory. Can put accessory. If the earring is very bright, to beautify it. If the um, bead is very bright, you can put accessory just like this. Then you attach the earring. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Thank you.